I wanted to try something new today with a Lego Star Wars Battle Pack. Now, I haven't opened one of these in like five or six years. It's been forever long since I've been into Star Wars and collecting it, but I figured I would just give one of them a shot. So I really liked how these red troopers looked and I figured doing a red custom mashup would be really fun and just something kind of simple. So I started with green stuff right away. I wanted to make these belts stand out a little bit more and kind of push out from the actual figure's body than just the printed decals that they have. So I started with some green stuff. I started carving in what I thought the belt was gonna look like. Now this is just kind of my own creativity and I'm not going off really any reference pictures or anything. I just wanted to have fun with these and see what I could make. Then I'm moving on to the chest piece here. Just sculpting the chess piece around and then adding some kind of weird groove lines in the middle that lead up to the neck. I didn't really know what I was going for here. I just wanted to have fun, so I gave it a shot. I like how it looks. I'm gonna use some halo shoulder pieces here with some green stuff and attach them onto each side just to give it more of a bounty hunter kind of style. on the bottom here we have one just normal trooper instead of the jump pack trooper so I wanted to give this guy a different belt and I want to put ammo patches all along the bottom of him make him feel a little bit more like a hunter or a mercenary than an actual red legion guy using green stuff on Lego actually attaches weight better than I thought it was. I thought I was gonna have to sand down the Lego or something, but it attached pretty easily, maybe even better than some of the mega stuff that I use. After I was finished attaching these little buttons onto each one of the pouches, I also added these little groove lines into the side to make it seem like they actually looked like ammo pouches. For his chest piece, I wanted to have two different pectoral kind of chest pieces. These were really simple, just added green stuff on each side and sculpted them with my X-Acto blade. For the shoulder pads, I went with a different kind of shoulder pads. I wanted them to be black, so I just attached those as so. And then for the back, I'm going to be using an actual Lego piece that I got from the set, and I'm going to make him a weird little thruster from other Lego pieces as well. I didn't want just the other ones to have thrusters. I wanted this guy to feel kind of cool and unique since he is the only one in the set, so I added that. On top of that, I added a weird robotic eye. Maybe it's, this is like a vision or a heat seeker or just something kind of interesting to the right side of his helmet. Now, I don't know if he lost his eye or if this is just how his helmet came. Let me know in the comments down below, but I thought it would be really fun to make. Then for the general or the captain or whatever the heck he is, I just had some leftover green stuff, so I gave him kind of a shoulder pauldron on the left side. And that was pretty much it. Moving on to paint, we're using some Citadel Red here. And we're just gonna be coloring over the green stuff. Not using a black base, just gonna be using the red. And the reason I did this is just because it was close enough to the actual armor itself. And I didn't wanna to go too crazy detailed with this project. I wanted to make it kind of quick and fast, but also look good which I think it did turn out that way in the end, but I didn't think base coating the black was really that important at all. So once the backpack was all completely covered in red, we moved over to the helmet and we started covering that as well with red. Then we're moving back over to the chest piece here on the other jump pack troopers. And I really like that there was a difference between the two kind of troopers here and then the other mercenary kind of trooper. Just gave it a really nice kind of feel when you have them all standing next to each other. Even the shoulder pads we're just gonna paint right over with red as well. Now for the ammo pouches on the bottom of the mercenary trooper, we're just gonna make those black and then we're gonna add some dots to the little dots we made earlier on that. Going on to the jetpack, we're adding black highlights. And 
then we're gonna go back over Captain with some black Citadel paint and just cover up that green stuff. And we're gonna hit it with a highlight of gray, and this is just gonna kind of show out all those little grooves and lines that in, that's in the green stuff and just make it look a little bit better. Now I wanted to make these battle damage areas that I made on one of the trooper and these inside groove areas stand out a little bit more, so I used some black citadel paint and then for these other parts that were a little bit harder to get to, I also used black citadel paint, but I just watered it down with my brush first. And then I just stuck it right in those little lines, and at the end it looks really good. It's in all that detail. Same thing with the shoulder pads as well. And you can just wipe it off right with your finger, it doesn't have to be too fancy. Adding some yellow onto this mercenary trooper, just to give him a little bit more of a wow factor and make it feel like his thruster pack is actually kind of working and usable instead of it not having any kind of like light source or energy source at all. Also adding some details into the sides. That looks pretty good. Now these two jetpack troopers, I want to give them shields just to mix it up and make it seem a little bit more interesting. I just traced out some shields on a template of cardstock here and then cut it out with my X-Acto blade. Then I flipped it in half and traced out the same template onto the other side and then cut that completely out with my X-Acto blade. Then I traced it over on a little thin piece of cardboard and used some glue to uh, keep the cardboard in place. Sorry that this frame's a little bad right there. And then also used some pieces that I got from the actual set itself and made a handle for the shield. And it fits right on. Pretty cool, I think. Then I'm going to be using some super glue on a little bit more of a template that I made and cut out off screen. Nothing fancy there. And did the same thing on the other side. I also added some Mod Podge to each one of the shields. This is basically just gonna make it a little bit stiffer, harder, just make them better for longer. Now we're adding on some red paint to these shields. Cheap Apple Barrel 50 cent paint, nothing crazy. All right guys, here it is, these custom Lego Star Wars figures, and honestly, they turned out really nice, I think. Uh, we have two of the same kind over here on this side, so a little bit different. This guy has a little bit more battle damage on his chest piece, um, but that's really the only difference between the two. Uh, the shoulder blades are the same on each side, uh, the backpack's the same, but I really like these, oops, but I really like these two custom figures. I think they're really simple, but also kind of cool. And for my first, you know, custom Lego Star Wars figures, I think they turned out pretty good. Moving on to the other one here, I gave him some different kind of shoulder pieces, gave him a ton of ammo pouches on the bottom, and then I gave him this weird kind of like eye, I don't know what it does, but it's there. And I also wanted to give him some kind of a weird thruster. This, These guys already have their own jetpacks, but I wanted to give this guy kind of a weird jetpack as well, or a thruster or something, and I think he's pretty cool. I definitely like the ammo pouch as well. Then for our last one, we have our captain or whoever he is. 
I gave him like a weird little cloth on the left side with all the remaining green stuff that I had left. You can't really move this arm anymore, but that doesn't matter to me. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool, definitely simple. And then for the two shields, the shields are really simple. Uh, just some cardboard that I put together with a few things, as you saw. And you can just give it to one of these jetpack guys, put his gun up on the other side, and you're good to go. I gave him some SMGs, some Halo SMGs, instead of the other stud shooter guns, because I don't really like the stud shooters as much as I do these SMGs. Guys, that's all for this small little LEGO Star Wars video. If you enjoyed the LEGO Star Wars video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below if you are new. This is just something I wanted to do just to have a little bit of fun and kind of mix it up from, well, my last diorama as you can see here. This one's pretty cool, just some custom figures that I thought would turn out real nice. That's about it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want me to do any more LEGO Star Wars sets, let me know in the comments down below. I think I might do like the 501st one if this video does well. Kind of make like a small diorama with that. So definitely let me know. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or night. Peace out.